President Emerson Umingagwa of Zimbabwe was harshly condemned by Bernadus Swartba of Namibia, who called him a puppet of the Zimbabwean military. Swartba expressed his dissatisfaction with the Southern African Development Community SADC for failing to stop Zimbabwe's frequent acts of impunity both at home and in the region. The head of the Landless People's Movement especially criticized SADC during a press conference in Namibia for failing to censure Zimbabwean authorities for verbally abusing the bloc's own election observers after they published a report labeling Zimbabwe's August election as rigged. Swartba listed several instances where SADC was mute about alleged misbehavior by Zimbabwe. He emphasized that the regional group had done nothing to oppose the military takeover that removed former President Robert Mugabe and appointed Umingagwa as his replacement in November 2017. Swartba asserts that despite the overwhelming evidence of a coup, Zimbabwe was not expelled from SADC or the African Union EU. He attacked the absence of reprimand or suspension and claimed that because Umingagwa was anointed as president by the military. Zimbabwe got away with its crimes. The Namibian politician attacked SADC for letting Umingagwa into the bloc, calling his re-election fraudulent and corrupt, and noting that the incumbent leader was a coup victim. Swartba further charged that by celebrating Umingagwa on his electoral victory despite claims of fraud, Namibian President Hage Gengob had violated his constitutional obligations. The opposition leader also brought up a case in which the Zimbabwean government exerted pressure on SADC to dissolve the SADC tribunal, which had ruled in favor of a white commercial farmer from Zimbabwe who had successfully appealed a Supreme Court decision against the seizure of his farm during the violent land reform process. As a result, Namibia's Windhoek-based regional appeals court was shut down. Even when late Movement for Democratic Change MDC founder Morgan Svangerai was running against the government. According to Swartba, elections in Zimbabwe were rigged. Swartba raised his concerns about the ZANU-PF party's disdain for the law and democratic values, as well as the violence that has surrounded elections, and questioned the privileged treatment accorded to the party, which is currently in power in Zimbabwe. He lambasted SADC officials for supporting Umingagwa's contested victory despite concerns expressed by vote watchers on a lack of adherence to regional standards for legitimate elections. Swartba criticized SADC for allegedly compromising its reputation and integrity for the sake of ZANU-PF in his harsh statements. He questioned the party allegiance and underlined the importance of determining what Zimbabwe had done for its neighbors to earn such consistent support. Swart reviewed the current ZANU-PF installed government in Zimbabwe as a caretaker government. In light of the charges of election manipulation, he called for the expulsion of Zimbabwe's ambassador to Namibia and indicated support for the creation of a transitional authority to manage Zimbabwean affairs.